Inside this ambulance is the body of 32-year-old Andres Vasquez Lasso, killed in the line of duty. Along the procession route were Chicago firefighters, officers, and citizens, as the Chicago police officer was escorted from the medical examiner's office to Blake Lamb Funeral Home in Oak Lawn. The officer was allegedly shot and killed at the hands of 18-year-old Stephen Montano. Today, a judge denied him bond. Several officers in uniform were present for Montano's court appearance in support of the heroic fallen officer. The defendant charged with his hands outstretched at his girlfriend who stepped out of the way to avoid being struck. Assistant State's Attorney Ann McCord says it all started with an argument Wednesday evening with Montano and his 37-year-old girlfriend. She called police and that's when he started running. Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso, in full uniform, hopped out of the marked squad car and chased the suspect on foot. Bennett turned and went through a gate and entered the school the schoolyard area of Sawyer Elementary. Flowers now mark the spot where the officer described in his obituary as a beloved husband, son, brother and uncle was shot and killed at point blank range. The defendant pointed his handgun at the victim. The defendant and the victim both fired their guns. The defendant fired five times and the victim was struck a total of three times. At the time of the shooting, there were civilians, including multiple children, on that playground who took cover under a slide. One of those bullets traveled right into a nearby home, but did not enter the resident. The entire ordeal was captured on Officer Vasquez Lasso's body-worn camera. The defendant stood up, refused to comply with commands, and tried to walk away from the police despite being shot in the face. The defendant was subsequently tased and handcuffed.